Hey everyone and welcome to Nature with Gabe, the channel that connects you to nature and incredible people just like yourself. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about how you can find snakes by road cruising. So what is road cruising? Well, it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's driving a car and trying to spot snakes that are either crossing the road or sitting out and basking on the road. Now there are actually several reasons why road cruising is a pretty effective method for trying to find snakes and to monitor their populations. Scientists will actually sometimes use road cruising because it sort of creates transects through habitat, sometimes really good habitat, and allows you to cover a lot of ground and, you know, potentially come across a lot of snakes. Um, and not only snakes, but a lot of other wildlife um, and other reptiles and amphibians. And now, these animals, like, uh, are more likely to come out onto the road sometimes because uh, the road can be an open area where they could potentially hunt, um, and often they do get hunted. You'll see like owls and stuff coming down and picking up uh, snakes and frogs and stuff off the road if you're road cruising a lot. Um, but uh, the road also can be a place where uh, reptiles and amphibians can regulate their, their body temperature. So they'll come out on a nice uh, warm black top and, and they will use that to warm up their body since they're ectotherms and they rely on external um, heat sources to warm up. So oftentimes going out and driving on roads during specific times of the day can be a really, really great way to come across snakes. Over the next two days, I'm going to be camping and I'm gonna be doing a bunch of road cruising. And so I'm gonna take you guys with me. Hopefully I get to share some cool snakes with you and you know, other wildlife as well. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave any questions that you have down in the comments below. So unfortunately I just came across a dead timber rattlesnake that was hit probably moments earlier. It looks really fresh. Uh, it's right down there. I don't want to show it close up because it's kind of gnarly and not everybody wants to see that. But. Ah, it sucks. Uh, it's a really pretty looking one too. It's almost pinkish colored and it, it's a young snake. It's only about uh, two feet long. The worst part about road cruising is that sometimes the majority of snakes that you come across are already dead. But even if they're dead, it still gives you some information, some insight on, on what snakes are in that area and potentially what their population is like. You know, if it's a young snake, that means the snakes are reproducing in that area. Um, so even though it's a dead snake and that sucks and it's the worst feeling in the world, um, you still get a little bit of an insight on, on what the snake population is like in that area. I'm gonna keep cruising, hopefully I can find something else. You know, if there's a snake on the road now, that means there's other snakes that are probably out. So I'm gonna keep going and hopefully I can find some live snakes to show you guys. Now, if you wanna try road cruising, it's very important that you remember to be safe. It can be pretty dangerous if you're on a busy street with a lot of cars. So try and stick to cars or roads with less cars. 
and make sure that you pull over to the side of the road and use your hazards. Also, you can wear an orange or a red vest, bright colors, uh, to help alert other drivers that are in the area. And just be really mindful and thoughtful so that you don't get yourself into a tricky situation. Another thing you want to remember is if you're in an area with any venomous snakes, make sure you know exactly where that snake is when you're stepping out of your car so that you don't accidentally step on it. Road cruising unfortunately also involves burning fossil fuels, which always at least makes me feel bad. So I try to be really particular about when I go road cruising and not overdo it. So if I'm going somewhere, maybe I can cruise away a road along the way, um, or you know, I try to road cruise just during prime time hours, which is usually an hour before and after sunset for a lot of snake species and maybe you know sometime in the morning when the sun starts to uh, hit the hit the pavement or whatever uh, surface the road is made out of um, but yeah that's one thing about this method of finding snakes that I you know bugs me a little bit because I don't want to be out driving like um, way more than I need to be uh, but Regardless, road cruising is a really uh, effective method in some situations uh, to find snakes. Nope. A lot of times when you're road cruising you see something that you think is a snake and it turns out not to be a snake. Don't feel bad. It happens all the time and there's nothing you can do about it. But that's just part of the fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a couple things about how to find snakes. Go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed and leave a comment if you have any questions. Now, I would encourage you to check out my other videos on how to find snakes to learn even more about, you know, different ways to try and find snakes and observe them in their natural ecosystem. And I'd also encourage you to use different methods. Don't just stick to one method, but by using different methods, you can learn a whole lot more about snakes and other animals. So, Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember, nature is powerful, and so are you. Have a great day.